Okay, so it had to happen. We've got a collaboration cafe, which is only me. So hi everyone. <laughs> um, I have lots of work to do on the Turing Way and I'm very happy to sit here in my spare room at home with uh, my grandma's embroidery of Tutankhamun in the background. Um, and I guess I'll just do some work. Um, and if folks come along and they join, then that's totally fine. Uh, because if you're watching this, you do not in fact need to be in the Collaboration Cafe for the whole two hours. You can just come for any period um, that works for you. So thank you for engaging. Thank you for being part of the Turing Way community. There are loads and loads of ways in which um, you can contribute. And this is a great space to just come and chat with me because it turns out sometimes I just sit here by myself. No, uh, it's all fine. Uh, right, well, let's see. Let's just, I'll share my screen real quick because I think it's helpful to just do the same, the same thing each time. So um, here's our shared notes. I hope this is showing up okay. Um, and I can hide the controls. So uh, it says thank you. So this is the shared note. So it's a it's a um, it's hack MD. So you can render it to look kind of nice in the browser like this, or you can edit the raw markdown, and that looks like this. And you can see both sides at the same time. And um, we got a few links to the book itself. We got a are we meeting yet link. And uh, this is the Zoom link, so this is how you would connect if you wanted to come to future ones. Um, the way that you find out about the future timings is if for you, I'm going to press control and click on this and should open any new tab. Um, so here we've got the Collaboration Cafe, um, a little bit of information about what it is. Basically, it's sort of like an accountability buddy system uh, where we can kind of come and, and do some work together. and. Um, if we scroll further down, you can find the dates and the start times. So the session in the first week of the month is on Wednesday at 3 p.m. UK time, and the session in the third week of the month is on Wednesday at 7 p.m. And uh, we've had a few, we've got those uploaded on YouTube, and um, I'll upload this recording at the end as well. And um, yeah, so, so those are the next ones coming up. We've got one really like early in the morning UK time, but it's so that it's a more accessible time um, for more easterly time zones. So uh, compared to the to the UK, so uh, Brisbane, there's Paula in Brisbane will hopefully be joining us for that one. If you happen to be um, in Shanghai or um, Kolkata in, in in India or China or any other sort of Asian countries. It would be really great to have you come along and join. Uh, for those of us in, in Europe, it's 9 a.m., which is not too much Central European time. London is still part of Europe at the moment. Um, at 8 a.m. for London, then it gets a bit sort of silly for that next one for um, more westerly time zones. But this one is hopefully, this is also silly um, for the easterly time zone. So we're trying to kind of cover it as best we can. And these links to help you sort of check your local time zone so you know you know what's going on. And um, the other thing to just real quick click on is the code of conduct. I mean, I'm just here by myself. <laughs> so I don't really know how I would both violate the code of conduct um, and report to myself, which is, um, which is kind of what, would, what the code of conduct would respect. But I still think it's important to start these meetings by reminding ourselves that we value the participation of every member of the community. We want to ensure that everyone has an enjoyable and fulfilling experience. And so um, everyone's asked to show respect and courtesy to other community members at all times. And we do not tolerate harassment by and or of members of our community in any form. And there's some really nice expected behavior. This is taken, this is taken from the Carpentries Code of Conduct. Um, there's some nice expected behavior of being respectful of different viewpoints, using welcoming, inclusive language, and um, respecting the privacy and safety of others. So I, I always ask before I record, if you wanted to join, you didn't want to record, that'd be totally fine. You could either turn off your screen 
or we would just not record for that session. Um, and we want to be considerate of others' participation. And then there's a little bit more information further down of some of the consequences and what the reporting process looks like. Uh, so yeah, so that's the code of conduct. And um, this is where folks can sign up. So my favorite rainy day movie is Avengers because just, just really like it. Just really like watching the first Avengers film and um, I can kind of fall asleep to it, wake up, know exactly what's going on, fall asleep again, put it back to the beginning, no big deal. And um, these conversation starters are spaces to advertise and promote anything exciting that you're working on. So it's just a way of like celebrating the community. Um, I am very excited that Malvika Sharan and I are going to be at MozFest House on Thursday the 24th of October. And we will be sitting at a table from 10 until 4. Uh, I guess we might go for lunch at some point, but we'll try and leave a little sign there to tell folks um, where we've gone. But it's just basically a space where you can come and you can find out about the project and you can ask about it. You, there is, you do not need to contribute, uh, but you can know a little bit more and you can tell us a little bit more about what's important to you. Um, and if you do come, it's really helpful to the Mozilla or festival organisers to know how many people are coming. So if you can just click on this link, you get a free, a free ticket to be able to come in and, and co-work that day. And I wanted to shout out that today is pronouns day. So my pronouns are um, she, her, and um, this is just an incredible guide. I'm going to click on it so that it's on the recording. This is written by um, Ben, Ben Flattery, uh, and it's an organizer's guide to pronoun buttons. And I just, it sort of explains like why it's important to have pronoun buttons. It's actually really, what I find really cool about this blog post is that it, it really motivates why it's uh, much better to have a pronoun button than to have um, printed on pronouns because it may be the case that people will want to suss out the joint and just see whether it's a safe space before they share their pronouns. Um, they may, they, they may want to kind of change their pronouns on different days if it's a multi-day event and things like that. And so having buttons means that people are able to, to kind of have that um, power over, over how, uh, how, how much information they share with the group and how things might change uh, their gender expression and their gender identity may change on different days. Uh, so yeah, so we've got some some pronouns. You got to explain why they're there. They're not preferred pronouns. Uh, don't print them on the badges. That's what I just said. And how you can get some buttons. And it's got some. The the blog post has some suggestions for different pronouns that you might want uh, to include. So anyway, I can stop there. You should go and read this <laughs> all by yourself. Uh, but I really, I I really strongly recommend it. I find myself googling for this very very regularly and telling everyone about it and so I hope um, I hope other folks find it find it useful so the way that um, these collaboration cafes work is that we set a timer for 20 minutes and then there's a five minute break 20 minutes five minute break 20 minutes five minute break and we just kind of do some stuff so what am I gonna do I have like two big things that I think are really pressing for me for the Turing Way at the moment. Three, there's three things. I'm not gonna get all three of them done. One is that I ran um, a session to welcome the new PhD students to the Turing and I asked them, I gave them all a section, just like a few sentences uh, in the Turing, in the chapter on reproducibility about barriers to reproducibility. And I asked them to write in one of those barriers and then they opened a pull request and that was super cool. And then I just sort of abandoned those pull requests. So I think that's going to be the thing that I work on today. I think I'm going to try and like review those pull requests, get them nice and tidy, and then hopefully we can merge that in quite soon. Um, the other thing that's on my to-do list that's quite urgent is um, how to cite the Turing way. I think that I think we need a pull request on how to cite the Turing way. And then the third thing is that I really wanted to write a report about um, the extension sprint that we did last week, which was really, really incredible. We had a bunch of people from the Turing and also some of the folks who've been involved in the, the first phase of the project um, come together and we had sort of two full days, a 
four sessions, a morning and an afternoon on Thursday and Friday. And we covered kind of some of the areas that we want to expand beyond reproducibility. Um, we have mega notes, like super, super detailed notes, like so, so many notes and lots and lots of post-its. But I think if I would really like to try and capture a little kind of, you know, report on sort of, um, just I get just I guess like capture who came capture some of the sort of core points that we came up with I don't think I can do that <laughs> I don't think I can do that before bedtime so let's do the first two let's go for um let's go for pull requests on barriers to reproducibility um and citing the Turing way so I'm gonna stop recording um and I'll kind of work on my like 20 minutes, I'll set a timer. The Zoom call is still open, so if anyone comes along, then you'll see me on the recording on the other side with anyone else that's here. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'm back. I did a bunch of work. Um, I merged in a hotfix for a typo in the code of conduct that came from copying and pasting it. Um, and I opened a pull request. Let me show you. Um, I'll come back to these in a sec. So there was an issue that Chris um, opened that was pointing out the fact that at the moment in the GitHub repository, we have an MIT license, but most of our content really should be CC BY. Um, and so what I've done is I've taken um, a license from, um, I've sort of copied and pasted from this reproducible science curriculum that's part of the Carpentries community um, that says the process documentation and curated data in this repository, oh, this from the wrong place. So, okay, so I need to fix this. Hang on. Let's just do this live. Edit file. I took this from the Citizen Science Project. They have. Um, so it should be all documentation in chapter materials are made available under, under the Creative Commons license. The following is a human readable summary. You feel to share, adapt, um, and you can revoke these freedoms for as long as you, and you cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you have in terms. And you've got to attribute, so mentioning that your work is derived from what is copyright, the Turing Way community, and where practical linking to the Turing Way, and providing a link to the license, and you can do so in any reasonable manner. Um, and then in, and we've got software, which has, oh, look, I can't fix this. Let's do a capital C. I don't think this needs to be italics. I'm going to go like super into the italics thing, but I think that makes more sense. Um, and then that is the MIT license, which is much smaller. So that's the idea. So that's the pull request that's open. Let me every time fix typo. Uh, so that's there. So that is interesting, and I am interested to know um, what folks think about that. I guess the other thing I'm going to do is make it a markdown file. I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to make it a markdown file. I think that makes sense. Oh, in that case, I'm going to add a couple of logos because I had that going on before. Um, logo Creative Commons. So many. They have a page. Okay, I'm going to keep that this guy here and then I wonder if it's MIT and we go on
Hmm. I guess not. Maybe it's in Wikipedia. No, I'm not going to do the MIT image. Yeah, so I would just put that one in. That's fine. Um, OS, OSI, okay. And you just kind of, I don't want a square one, I want like a button one. Let's just stop, we're recording. Let's just stop scrolling around the internet, it's late. Um, so I can put this in, I can add this in. Um, uh, if there's no MIT logo though, then that's confusing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to take it out. Okay, I'm going to take it out. Stop, stop, stop. Cancel the page. Okay, so anyway, so this is... Oh, I did want to make it not down there. Okay, take out the image. Okay. So, right, so that pull request is there. That's hopefully, we'll get some comments on that. And then I also did some really fun stuff. I managed to review one, two, three, four um, of the barriers. And that took a little bit longer than I thought. There's, there's sort of, it's interesting to think about, like, what makes a pull request easy to review. And some of the things that I've added, so I'll just pull this one up. One of the things that I've added is I've sort of added in a bit more information in the text at the top. Um, and it just makes it easier because I'm sort of flipping between a whole bunch of the different um, pull requests. And so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to sort of keep track of everything. Um, so, and then I've also, I've been like mega picky with my like one sentence on each line. And I, I think I even linked to, uh, I think up here I linked to my, my XKCD comic, which is sort of, this is me, this is me so strongly, I feel extremely seen by, uh, by XKCD. So yeah, so I was really happy with, with that work. Um, I didn't get through all of the barriers, but I did make some progress, which I needed to do. And um, let me stop sharing. And I just want to sort of finish up the recording by saying, Thank you again, everyone, and uh, come along next Thursday at Bozfest House and say hello. It would be delightful to see you. We'll also be monitoring Gitter if you want to like wave and say hi there. And um, the Australia um, Asia Friendly Collaboration Cafe is going to be on, I think, Wednesday the 30th, and it will be 8 a.m. UK time. Uh, and then there'll be one back at the sort of regular time of 3 p.m. on the first Wednesday of November, which is sort of terrifyingly soon. How scary is that? Uh, thanks so much, everyone. See you soon. <laughs>